hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel as you read the title this is my skincare routine and yeah i'm from the gym so um i have sunscreen on yep so this is the best time to do this video so that i can show you all the products not really all but most of the products that i normally use so first thing first i have to oil cleanse so that i can remove the sunscreen off my face and i'm using this quillin cleanser it's an oil cleanser from the ordinary and first of all this brand the ordinary is not so ordinary so first of all your your, your hands have to be cleaned and then dry okay so i massage the cleansing oil deep into my face and cleansing oil slash balms they are used to break down makeup dirt sunscreen pollution all of that yucky stuff and they leave the skin nourished soft and moisturized as you can see so failure to remove makeup and sunscreen well prevents proper penetration of other skincare products and what does this mean you are wasting your money buying other skincare products if you're not cleansing your face well well this is a very important step not the oil based cleanser but cleansing in general so um everyone should be using a cleansing oil not just people who are wearing uh, makeup or sunscreen and everyone should be wearing sunscreen by the way so everyone including meal should be using a cleansing oil well um for these normal days people who really like Benefits from cleansing oils are people with oily skin because oil attracts oil and this helps in like cleansing the face well because for them a lot of sebum is produced. Okay, so as you massage gently don't miss any spot of the face. There is the hairline on the jawline and also on the nose crevice. Okay, yep. Also, don't leave it for too long and don't be overly rough like when you're massaging your skin because, you know, your skin little, little needs some TLC. <laughs> and guys, by the way, a lot of people have been asking me like, who's loving you right? Your skin is glowing. Well, guess what? The cat is out of the bag. It's my skincare routine and here it is. So after this, you just go rinse it off. I'm not going to show that because... Yo guys, you don't have the equipment for all that angle. However, I'm going to explain. So when I wash it off, when I like mix it with water, it's going to turn white. Now, is it emulsifying? Probably. It will turn white and then now I just rinse it off with the So, So after rinsing it off, I go in with a cleanser. A cleanser that is extremely what extremely not sensitive what's the word anyways well I'm using this one because of the other steps that I'll be doing in this skincare routine otherwise if, uh, if I'm not doing all these steps I'll just go in with my CeraVe 2% acne control cleanser 2% that's really high or Cosarex 0.5% and I use like 2% because first of all my skin barrier is top notch I really hydrate, I use niacinamide I use hyaluronic acid, I use ceramides well those are the things that you should be using if your skin barrier is in the pits and not active ingredients so salicylic acid helps me in you know, curbing oil, reducing the amount of sebum production. Yeah, so I'm using this therapy hydrating cleanser, which has ceramides, niacinamide. Um, hmm. Oh no, it has three essential ceramides and hyaluronic acid. Yeah, so that cleanser, like, it, it's very mild and. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's the word. 
So the next step is a water-based cleanser. So guys, after you've used the oil-based cleanser, make sure you've followed it up with a water-based cleanser. So when you just use the oil-based cleanser, it's gonna clog your pores and you know what happens? Breakouts are gonna follow you, okay? So this is very important. So what I do, I just massage my face for 60 plus seconds. Um, this is the best time. Like you can use this time to bond with yourself, to bond with your partner, to bond with your family, you know. Yep, and then I go rinse. So guys, for this next step, your skin has to be dry, like dry, okay? My hands are not as dry. So you can dry them, you can dry your skin using a paper towel or a face cloth that is only for the face. Tower. No, good. So up next is did I shake you? I'm so sorry. Salicylic mask. So this salicylic mask has two percent salicylic. I opted for this one other than the salicylic and hydras. The anhydrous is not great for my skin is best there. So I don't have a mirror, so this application will look work or probably will turn better, who knows? And then I'm using my back camera to film because I have a shady phone. No. Anyway, but it's true. Like Wait, I'm so sorry guys. I didn't realize how noisy outside was until I was editing this video. So I'm just going to be doing a voiceover over the places that I think you can't hear. So as I was saying, like my front camera is not really the best. Neither is my back camera. But the back camera is way better and that's what I'm shooting with. So basically over here, in this application, I'm just finessing. I'll ensure that I've like bought some makeup brushes specifically for the masks, okay? Also, guys, um, a lot of people like have been asking me, like, I mean, who's loving you, right? Just because my skin is glowy, guys. Okay, there, there are a lot of people, is specifically my friends. <laughs> and also, I was saying in that, in this clip, that that night when I was going to work, they're going to ask me, and indeed I'm here to confirm that they did ask me. And at least, as of now, I do have a video, and I can send them a link to check out my skincare routine, you know? <laughs> so you guys, this salicylic mask is exactly what she says she is. It gives me a smooth skin, a glowy skin, like basically, and then it like makes the sebum production, like it reduces it because that's the work of the BHA, right? And also it exfoliates the skin. So what I do, I just normally leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then I go rinse. And then if you have sensitive skin and you really wanna use this salicylic mask, kindly ensure that you're just using it once in a week and you're leaving it for only five minutes. Just um, build the tolerance of your skin. Don't go at a straight end using it for three times a week and then leaving it for 10 and 10 to 15 minutes like I do. You know, even at the back of this product, it's written, leave it for five minutes. Don't be like me who breaks rules. And I break the rules because I know how my skin, I, I, I basically I can handle my skin. Okay. So you can also comment down below any questions that you have. Or you can also follow my skincare page that is Letasi Hygiene and Skincare Galo if you don't like like commenting. And I'm gonna answer you. So guys, you better like take advantage of this because I'll be giving out like free content not for long. Not for long. And then you'll have to book me, you guys, because I'm using my time and time is money. You know <laughs> so you better take advantage of this so ensure that you follow that page because i'll be dropping gems okay of course there'll be free content but if you want like to ask me a direct direct question um you'll have to you know pay for it because guys a lot of research a lot of time a lot of money has been used to do all this well back again I've already rinsed, I've eaten two mangoes, I hope those things are, cannot be seen on the video, 
I've really tried removing them. So, um, so after my salicylic mask, I go straight into hydrating. That is my toner serums, hydrating sheet masks. So however, there are days I go in with my AHAs. So AHA includes lactic acid, mandelic acid, and glycolic acid. So I use the ordinary glycolic 7% toning solution. And AHA helps in regenerating new skin cells. So AHA tends to do better with drier skin compared to BHA. Then other days I go in with my Paula's Choice salicylic acid. No, this is the BHA. Um, so BHA tends to do better with oilier skin type because they like carb, the sebum production. Then other days I go in with this faded. And the faded contains kojic acid, transdynamic acid, melatonin, niacinamide, liquorized root, as a like acid, and all of these are inhibitors. So they prevent the overproduction of melanin, hence reduces hyperpigmentation over a period of time. So this there's none that is a quick fix. Okay, back to the routine. So I start with my toner so I use the good molecules niacinamide toner and the niacinamide in this is 3% I was using the ordinary 10% niacinamide and 1% zinc so I just decided to switch to see how this one will react to my skin and so far so good so I just put a few drops on my palms and then tap it in well other people prefer to use cotton wool but I think that's just a waste of product you see you can as you're doing your skincare routine on your face that is you can also be doing it on your hands and no wasting of products also remember your neck and the back of your neck because most people forget there Actually, most people don't even do the back of the neck. <laughs> so up next is the serum and I use Marine Hyaluronics from The Ordinary, which is not so ordinary. So guys, the Marine Hyaluronics um, delivers intense long-lasting moisture and this helps in a smoother, plumper and younger looking skin. So Marine Hyaluronics does not really contain any hyaluronic acid but that it contains derivatives of Marine which is red, green, blue, algae that simulates the properties of a hyaluronic acid. And it's an ultra lightweight serum compared to the hyaluronic acid. Well, I've not used the hyaluronic acid before so so after this I think I should get it and then I'm going to compare it and then you guys make sure that you've followed Letasi, Hygiene and Skincare Galo and I'm going to update like the differences and which you should like prefer using to the other. Okay, so kindly ensure that you followed it and I'm, it must serve you the real tea. So up next guys, we seal everything off with a moisturizer. I use the Cosarex Overnight Rice Spa Mask and this really is kind of heavy but I use it for the night. This is because after this I was just going to take a shower and then sleep. So other days I'll alternate with the natural moisturizing factors from the uh, ordinary when I'm going out and then I seal it off with a sunscreen. The days that I feel like I need some TLC, I'll go in with my um, CeraVe AC Lotion for rough and bumpy skin. Well, that I also use it during the night because it contains salicylic acid. And then the next day when I'm going out, I ensure that I've slathered a lot of sunscreen on my face. Because you know guys, you don't want like to expose um, sensitive skin or skin that has already like been exfoliated to the sun because um, you're going to cause like hyperpigmentation and the sun contains the UVA and the UVB rays um, that cause really bad things to the skin. UVA causes aging, UVB causes burning and no one wants that. No one wants that. I wanna be forever young. I wanna be forever young. <laughs> so for the lips i go in with this lineage lip sleeping mask with the flavor grapefruit well you know guys this is the real deal honestly it's a sleeping mask but i might use it whenever wherever i want but i don't carry it around because 
it's kind of bulky a 20 gram in your bag uh -uh. so um when i'm out i use the carmex as of now i have a winter green one and it contains a spf 15 so yeah that's it for my skincare routine guys i really hope that you've learned something new also comment like share to a person that you think they will benefit from this like guys i i'd like i've moved from far with my skin why so share it because this information is called honestly if i say so myself <laughs> also ensure that you followed my instagram account that is let us see hygiene and skincare galore and stephanie wanjiro because stephanie wanjiro is for vibes if you're not watching it you're missing out and then now let us see um is where i'll be dropping the gems guys for glowy hashtag glowy hashtag glassy hashtag yummy looking skin <laughs> yeah. so make sure that you followed um all of those accounts subscribe and see you next time bye bye love you guys